356,000 home loan with no bills, 2,500 cash flow. How can I pay my home off the fastest? Okay, just to repeat, education, study, read the material, watch videos. Here are your options, okay? Let's go over the options. How can I pay off my debt the fastest? That is her question, ladies and gentlemen. How can I pay off my debt the fastest? Okay, we're gonna simply show the options, okay, of what exists. Option one, debt snowball. Option two, debt avalanche. Option three, velocity banking. Option four, infinite banking. Or both, you can combine it. There's a way to do that. Option five, 10X, 10X. So that simply means, so, and here's what you do. It, your debt snowball is your measuring stick. With 2,500 a month in cash flow, guys, that's the number she provided, 2,500 cash flow. We've got 154 people in the house. That's wonderful, love it, appreciate the support. 2,500 times 12 is 30 grand. The most that she can pay towards debt is 30 grand. Conservatively, do we all agree? Yes, thank you. So all I have to do is take that 356, divided by the 30 grand, 11.8 years, right? but then you add whatever the mortgage payment is and it might we might get it down to like nine years, right? So say, say nine years. Nine years for debt snowball and debt avalanche, they're pretty much close together. Let's say nine years for her to pay off 356K. Then velocity banking. Let's say velocity banking, we're able to do it in 5.5 years. Which would you rather do? Nine years or 5.5? Okay, 5.5, right? Or maybe you're not convinced on velocity banking. You stick to the debt snowball. Cool, nine years, that's your timeline. Let's say you're going to go the infinite banking route and it's going to take 6.5 years. Denzel, why would this take longer than velocity banking? You have to understand with infinite banking, you're paying for a product. So part of your cash flow gets locked up. You're not able to use it as quickly as velocity banking. So you will go slower in most cases. Some cases might go faster when you combine the two. Just depends. But you got 5.5 and 6.5 and nine years. 10X, say three years. Which would you rather do? Nine years, 5.5, 6.5, three years. You asked, what is the fastest way? If you do this for yourself on your own numbers and map it out, you will see the result. I just gave you all the options that currently exist, right? So what 10X does is, let's say 2,500 a month, I'm gonna assume she's making seven grand a year, right? If she spent the next three years figuring out how to go from 7,000 a month to 70,000 a month, ladies and gentlemen, at 2.9 years, right? Let's say she achieves her first $70,000 month, right? And now we're in year three. So now she's making 70,000 a month her cash flow is probably easily 30K a month, right? Me, I make, I make 35K a month. On average, my cash flow is roughly 20,000 or more a month. So double it, 70 grand, easily making 
30K or, or more in cash flow, easily. 30K, uh, let's, say, let's say three years from now, her debt goes from 356 and I don't know, maybe she wipes uh, 25 grand off the top. She's at 331. 331 divided by 30 grand of cash flow, 11 months. So potentially, conservatively, within three to four years, she could just write a check in year three, 3.5, just before year four, pay off the entire mortgage and be done with it. So who won? I believe 10X will always win. That's my personal belief. That's the route that I went in terms of paying off debt, in terms of creating financial freedom. I went 10X, right? Velocity banking was my foundation of money management. It was my foundation. I never lost it. I never dropped it. I just, I kept it, but I used it to 10X. And then I came back, did the infinite banking, never considered this because it took too long. Okay. So those are the options you get to choose. That snowball slow and steady wins the race. Is that the route you want to go? Okay. Nine years, maybe eight, 8.5, you know, velocity banking 5.5, maybe as high as six infinite banking, maybe 6.5, maybe seven years, 10 X is 10 X is 10 X. How do you argue with that? How do you argue? going from 7K to 70 grand a month. How do you argue that? Like, I, I, I don't know how to argue against that. That's why the option is there.